thousands of people took to the streets and blocked roads across Catalonia amid strikes to protest against the police violence used during the weekend's divisive independence referendum. In Barcelona, schools, businesses and shops were also shut as part of a strike backed by the Catalan government, which will only serve to increase tension with Spain's central government in Madrid. The protests were largely peaceful, although some protesters forced shops and supermarkets that had decided to remain open to close. Strikebreakers was graffitied on the windows. Journalists, including La Sexta's Geimer Roglin, also complained that they required a police escort to leave the Catalan Parliament building as they were attacked over their coverage of the week's events. Spain's interior minister, however, accused the Catalan government of inciting rebellion by encouraging the protests as the country's worst political crisis in decades, continues to show no signs of resolution. Day after day, the Catalan government is pushing the population to the abyss and inciting rebellion in the streets, Juan Ignacio Soido said, adding that central government will take measures to stop the acts of harassment. Having previously remained silent on the issue, the European Parliament has confirmed it will hold a special debate on Wednesday, while King Felipe V of Spain announced he would give a special speech on the matter. The protests in the Catalan capital of Barcelona continued late into the night, with Plaza Universidad, Paleo, Las Ramblas, Plaza Catalunya, Fontanella and Via Laetana all closed off to traffic. Protesters chanted independence, sang songs and carried signs which read you you can't can't ignore this, we want democracy, and no more violence. There were similar scenes in some of Catalonia's the other cities Girona, Tarragona, Lida. Catalonia declares win for yes side an independence vote marred by violence, while the majority of the people involved in the protests were draped in senoras and estiladas, two variations of the Catalan flag, the latter representing a pro-independence feeling, there were also a number of people protesting who are indifferent to the independence debate. Some even carried Spain flags, or wore the Spanish national football team's colors as they protested against the police violence used on Sunday in an attempt to shut down polling stations across the region after central government had deemed the referendum illegal. Ruth Arbus Lamana, a Barcelona resident, told the Independent she had taken to the streets as a protest for the violence on Sunday by Spanish police and not for independence. The Catalan government said 893 civilians were injured on Sunday and one of the largest protests took place outside Spain's National Police Building in Barcelona, where there were chants for the Spanish police force to leave the region. Protesters had previously forced 150 police out of a hotel in Canala on Monday night. Meanwhile, outside the central government office in Barcelona, thousands protested in silence with their hands held in the air. More than 50 barricades her protests had blocked roads across Spain's northeastern region on Tuesday morning, including major toll roads and motorways which link the country to France, with Catalan President Carles Puigdemont calling for a democratic, civic, dignified protest on Twitter. He added don't let yourself be provoked. The world has seen it, we are peaceful people. Protesters, tractors, and tires blocked the roads, while two people sat playing chess in the middle of one motorway. FC Barcelona was among those to join the strike, with the club saying in a statement it seeks to bring together all those people who on 1 October, whether they voted or not, were left indignant by the serious events which took place during the day of the Catalan referendum on independence. The metro in the city ran a limited service, with passengers allowed to travel for free, while there were also reduced services at the port of Barcelona. However, flights were running as normal from Barcelona Prat Airport. Mr. Puigdemont has said 90% of Sunday's 2.3 million voters backed independence from Spain, and while central government will attempt to stop any breakaway, he maintains that the referendum is valid and binding. But he has stopped short of declaring independence yet, despite his government's previous promise that secession could happen within 48 hours of a yes vote. Spanish Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy, though, refuses to give the referendum any credence at all. We cannot allow the progress of the past 40 years to be replaced by blackmail, he said this week. We all have reasons to trust our democracy. This has only served to hurt our coexistence. I offer dialogue within the law. I expect them Catalans to renounce to what they have done so far. More about Catalonia referendum protests reuse content.